against the bill that you can't even garden. You, you can't even grow your own goods. They, they, they have enslaved us in this paper money system. And we go to work so we can live another day. I started saying, you know what? I, I'm, I'm uh, working. So, or no, what did I say? It was like backwards. Remember that one day everything was backwards? Like, oh, I was asleep. Oh, I go to work so I can so I can like fall asleep. Otherwise, I can't sleep at night. Or what was the? Other? Oh yeah, I, I said I pay my rent so I can work here another month. You go to work. Yeah, you pay your rent. I the only reason I pay my rent is so I can go hang out at that job all month. Everyone else is like, I'm at this job all month, so I can so I can go home and lay and sit in my apartment and get ready to go to work again. It's like, what is the purpose of life? Well, you can't garden anymore. Let's just dehumanize everyone more. And and then, you know, what makes me sick. Is when you start criticizing the system and some idiot chimes in and starts defending it. Then it's like, oh, everyone around me is brainwashed and there's not even one single person that, that's not, like, blind in my whole surrounding. Yeah. You can, like, talk about this stuff and the whole room will turn against you. That's how... That's how it won't work, well, I mean, the thing like, I'm sorry I uh, bothered your devils. Like, sorry to burst your bubble, but, but a piece of paper is worth about one penny. It's not like hundred dollars just because it's got the number one hundred on it. You freaking idiot! And a good example is Timmy, who's like her daughter, who's like totally dependent on. She's living in an apartment, uh -oh. but she doesn't have to pay. She doesn't have to pay. She doesn't have to pay a dime for her. She's like totally on welfare. Okay, this is hypothetical. We're not backbiting. <laughs> Boyfriend, yeah. her boyfriend doesn't work, and she's okay. just like, I yeah, just, just live off the grace of the law. You well, know it's like, going to all come together. I don't want to drop my funny money. I don't pay taxes. I don't well, expect anybody to pay I, I think you should, be sending, you should be sending more righteous deeds to your creator, and then just the the mercy of Allah will come back and, and put everything together. And, and in the context of this, like, fake reality that, that America has put us in, the law can still arrange something to put it together. So it sounds like well, her, it sounds like Tim like, That's the only time I ever had food stamps was in Albuquerque. Oh yeah, they gave I me food did. stamps pretty quick one time. Slida gave them to me the fast. Indian guy, the Indian guy helped us get food stamps and we go into the convenience store and we buy like a lollipop. I remember getting food stamps. You must have been the only one that had them. I got them like two years later when I came back in 1996. We bought a lollipop with $5. Ha! <laughs> so we could like get $4.95 and regular. I think like, our IQ is a lot lower. I mean, weren't, what was our IQ... We had to have really low IQ. I mean, we probably still have pretty low IQ, but back then we really had low IQ. Yeah, we didn't give a shit about it. It was just like a movie. Oh, like, yeah, we went in. We went into like 10 years of... Uh, oh, wait, we're still in that movie. Never mind. <laughs> wait, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Okay, I'm, I'm good.